going on? Tell me what's going on. Good morning, baby. I'm so happy I'm alive. That you're right here by my side. And I just want to thank you. Somebody said no audio. For always in love on me. If you can hear me, show me the thumbs up or something. Or say you can hear me. <laughs> Somebody say up top. Up there. I'm trying to fix this thing in that work. One to that screen. Yeah. Okay. Courtney Makwagwan. Thank you, Sammy. Anastasia. So either that was an evil one or them phone just now weren't good. You know them they bought too. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> anyway, so um two events I want to talk to you about real quick before we talk about other things and other things and other good stuff. Um the Echoes in Pink benefit concert in Pegasus Hotel in Jamaica on October twenty-seventh. Um Echoes in Pink has been since 2007 provided providing um free chemotherapy medication for uh women or the uninsured who is unable to afford the medication since 2017 so um the benefit concert is on october 27th and George Nooks will be there and Althea Hewitt will be there. And I think it will be a very, very good vibe while we support each other, you know, in a major way. So I'll see you there on October 27th. Um, for more information, you can go to uh, S-P-U-R-R-O-P-E-N dot com slash Echoes in Pink, E C H O E S N I N P I N K, Echoes in Pink. So that's spuropen.com slash Echoes in Pink. So I'll see you in Kingston on October 27th. And on October 21st, I will be in Orlando at the Libra event in Orlando. Libra event. It's a Libra Affair, it's called. Libra Affair, right. Hosted by Paul Campbell. And um, Teflon will be there. And um, Glenn Washington will be there. I'm going to be there. And we'll leave an artist up there. So make sure you're there at um, the Libra Affair on October 21st. Libra Affair, yes. Libra Affair, I got it. I got it. <laughs> so I hope you're feeling fantastic today. I hope you feel good. Because I feel good. I feel good all over. <laughs> I hope you feel good and you're feeling all right. I know say woolly things are going. You know say. I remember some years ago, I was on this festival. No, actually, I wasn't booked for the festival. None at all. And my management came to me at that time and they said, yo, um, they're calling you to replace Matis Yahoo on this show. I'm like, replace who? Matis Yahoo? Why? I was like, nah, mm -mm, I don't want to do it because they didn't think of me first, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not going to do it. Hi, Jamiri. Wagwan. <laughs> so, I was like, no, they didn't think of me first. I'm now gone. And I said, no, you got to go. Just, you know, this is, you know, because we are, we are familiar with the promoters who keep the events and things. So I went. 
Then when I got to the place, I heard that it was a fight between the Palestinians and the Israel people. And I was like, no, guys, no, 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 no. And they were like, but no, but you said peace and you say love and you say oneness and togetherness. So I think it would be a good message for you to, you know, share um, to end the fight. I don't know about all the details. And I remember going on the stage and I was like, yeah, peace, let peace reign, you know. And start singing One Love and Bagatings and other artists joined on and we were singing One Love. And But when my look about what's happening right now, I was like, wait a minute. Like, even though you gone up there, what you are singing about One Love and Peace and all of this. These people are fighting serious war from a long time and you up in the middle talking about peace and one love you don't know what i'm a fight for. well i do know to some extent you know but a part of me kind of wish that i never did that you know um especially at the heated moment that it was at that time without getting all the full details of everything you know um sometimes when you say though i may feel you know that war is not the answer and that love is sometimes some battles just have to be fought, you know? And I guess that's what it was. So a part of me wish I never go in at the middle and talk about me ago. And then think about it now, you know. Remember saying no. Oh, I'm who I am. All right. Two strikes. That skinny color, yeah. <laughs> And on top of that, I'm woman. So, eh, I think it was a little bit awkward, you know. Um, but fearless me, as usual, went into the stage, middle of the stage, and said, let peace reign, you know. Because I guess overall, all together across the world, that's what we would like to see. We'd like to see peace, and we'd like to see peace reign across the world. We don't want the majority of us don't want to see killings and we don't want to see you know a nation or anyone being murdered or soldier fight and nobody wants to see that like we all together i think want to see peace and unity and togetherness and oneness and love and happiness but we all know that that's not how it usually work because there will always be war war upon war rumors of war i said the war will never be over whether it be spiritual or physical because there is always that one who thinks the poor should be poor and the rich should get richer that one who believes to achieve him of it all down in Breda? There will always be that church. Who believe that their way is the only way to judge her. There will always be that one. You know? And that's how the world works. So, you know them time here yeah, when say the world is upside down. You know? And everything looked like it's upside down. The best thing for us to do, the best thing I think for me, because I don't know what the best thing for you is, but the best thing for me, I find, is to find a balance within myself. And as a woman in my house with children, balance them too as much as I can and keep them rooted, you know? And I think that that's the best way for me and my family. Um, stay focused on the current times and be ready. Ready at all times. You know, have some, you know, some some thought like, if this should have really happened, what would you do? Kind of thing, you know. And more than anything, that helps you to get to that point is in a balance and peace. Somebody say, are you Trinidadian? Well, let me tell you all. I'm mean, no say enough Caribbean people now agree with me. Because I said, no, 
Jamaica and Jamaican and Bahamian and Bahamian and Trinidadian and Trinidadian. <laughs> you know how we like to fight, but it really and truly, if you really check it, there's a lot in common that we have. So you have a fine say, some of ever look like some, but I could tell you how you know one Jamaican different. You have a look on the walk, you have a look on the attitude, and then when you look on Trinidad, you know, you're going to see the same attitude and the re So, I mean, you know, from your Caribbean, we have a lot in common. From your African, we have a lot in common. No, where we are, no matter where we are. And I used to think, say, me used to think that that's not true until I went to Brazil. And I see how much Brazilian people have, well, Brazilian black people have in common with, you know, Jamaicans, you know. Um, a whole heap of things. More than anything, the food we eat. Um, some of the words we say. All when we're in Africa, and when you look at how we talk Patwa, I may hear them talk. In a them African language, me have to do what do one of them here. You do that too, <laughs> you know. So I think that our um, some of our culture and traditions may have you know changed over time, but the more we change, is the more we remain the same. We eat some of the same food. We eat the cassava, the yam. Um, we have different ways to call, um, uh, like when we make fried dumpling or flour, and we have different ways that we cook the cassava them too and them things there. But when you look and check it, we're all the same. We are all the same people. We go through some of the same struggles. We live the same way in our house, all of these things. So, yeah, no matter where I go across the world, I realize, say, <clears throat> we're the same people, you know, and we go through some of the same things, and it never changes, no matter where you go. <laughs> More than anything, though, I think that Sao Louis, that's my place. <laughs> Sao Louis is beautiful. I love the way you guys love reggae music. I think that um, if we could look past our skin and look at some of the ways we live and some of the food we eat and some of the ways we dress and some of the way we think, we realize that a lot of us are very much in some ways similar, you know? So if we forget about the little things and look at the bigger picture, I think a lot more would be better. But in time and over time, greetings from Ireland. Make up yourself. No matter where you are, <clears throat> know that I love you. Love you unconditionally. No matter what, no matter what, baby. Always gonna be. <clears throat> always gonna be your girl. Somebody say, sing a little piece of reggae. Reggae, you hit me like a drum. Play cards and I will strum. Reggae. <clears throat> I can't sing. The fan is blowing in my throat. <laughs> I can't sing. There's a fan right above me and it's spinning 
Somebody said, even when you're talking, it sounds like a song. <laughs> Never seen you rock so. Now it's time to play. Hey. You move me like the wind blow. As night becomes a day. I know you want to go slow. Oh, yeah. To where? Where? I don't know. But when you rock. Yeah. Rocking is the true road. Hear me. When I say you're just like reggae, you hit me like a drum. Reggae, sing out and I will come. You're just like reggae, play chords and I will strum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, reggae, you're the one. <laughs> Someone love reggae music. I love, you know, if I chose to, I can do any song. I think any song. But there's something about reggae music. When they hear the the, the bass line, do 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 do, do 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 do, do 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 do, and hear the drum, the 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 the, the, the bass drum, and you hear the the guitar, them check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, and when the keyboard dropping the melody, it's over. Everybody a rock. I love reggae music. And what I love most about reggae music is the message in the music, how it makes me feel. And when I go to reggae festivals and I see people rocking and singing, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a joy, you know, and there is nobody singing anything that messes with your soul and your consciousness in our negative way there is nobody saying oh i i blanked out for a minute and i didn't remember anything or you know nothing like them something there it's always a good vibe and we just sing and dance and rock and children are there and and families hang out on blankets and you know, the umbrella them and, you know, while the kids are running around with hula hoops and the little uh, bubble thing they blow, <laughs> you know, and people are dancing different ways. It's like something. And then when you smell like the jerk food and you, you say, people I said, this is the vegan side, you know. <laughs> The meat side is over there, but this is the vegan side. You know, it's a different thing. Reggae music, just nice. Somebody said, what are your biggest influences in reggae? Uh, what? I would say life on a whole. Life experiences and my culture, Jamaica and some of the things that I've seen my family go through and other people who live in the garrison and come from the garrison, you know. Um, it's a music uh, that inspires the world to keep on being and living and striving and fighting for your rights. And, you know, it, it, it It gives people hope around the world and a little bit of hope is powerful.
more powerful than you could ever imagine. It gives people hope and strength and courage when they can't find it. Reggae music do that. Reggae music gives people hope and courage and feed them soul. It feeds them to the core. That's what inspires me, what keeps me loving reggae music. And you know what was so funny? I think that you can't really, you can't really be a reggae artist, a real reggae artist, if you haven't been through some of the things that, you know, sparks those words and cause them word then them melody that them come from pain, them come from struggle, them come from hurt, them come from, we take it from a dark place sometimes and put it in a light, in a most beautiful way. With drum, bass, guitar. And some people may say, yeah, but some people, some people, high to, you know, them take marijuana, all kind of things, but they must first, tell me if I lie, they first knew the painful side. They first felt that pain. Them first feel the struggle. Them first know the struggle. The wala we know about Carmel. <laughs> Carmel porridge. And ton Carmel and them something there. Majority of us. Not the wala we. Majority. But majority of we are all of us have been through something. Especially the one them write some of the biggest songs. Yeah. Somebody said overcome all evil with good. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, because as I said, all evil went good. You know, so the evil ones know the good ones. You didn't know that? Yeah, man, the evil ones know the good ones. And some of them, when the power comes and when them see the power, them tremble with fear or them confused. But the fact is, they know. <laughs> but anyway. That's why I'm in love reggae music. Now, who are some of my biggest inspirations in reggae? I would have to say, first, like, um, Bob Marley, Dennis Brown, Tita Tosh, Marcia Griffiths, Lady Saw, she was a dancer, but still. <laughs> she was one of them. Um, Beanie Man. Um, Jimmy Cliff. Toots. Ooh. I said Jack Ewer. Longing for my baby to love me more. What am I longing for? When, 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 when will I see, when we see each other again? Something like that. <laughs> you know, or, um, I tell you that I don't like the way we're living. Cause the way we're living is sickening. Lord, again. Yeah. I don't want nobody to come here and come talk about ear and them stuff. That's what you want. Come talk to one that I did. When I'm ready for talk about ear. I talk about reggae music. No, stick to the topic. I'll come off. Goodbye. I still love you. Come back one that I did when I talk about ear. I said Bob Marley already, man. Bob Marley, I said first, you can't lift off the king off of the thing. Steve Marley. Junior Gang Marley. All the kids, Alba Rosie, Taras Riley, who else? <laughs> I just love reggae music, you know. I, I love reggae music. 
Tanya Stevens, Lady G, um, Sister Nancy. Well, you people, I love bringing music. But I think years ago, I remember going to a festival and seeing Beanie Man on stage. Seeing Beanie Man on stage and I was like, yo, Beanie Man is wicked. I love Beanie Man. I wonder if ever, I one day I'd ever be able to go on the stage with Beanie Man. You know, that would be like, and then I ended up doing like two songs with Beanie Man on a tree. Alpha, Blab, Alpha Blondie, of course. That's one of the majors, like Alpha Blondie music are the kind of music where you listen to, like even when we're at tour, we drive and listen to Alpha Blondie straight until we reach for hours, we listen to Alpha Blondie, you know. Somebody say I'm leaving out the general, but everybody love um, Bonesy Killer. Most people. Um, I I might not like like his personality, but I like him in music. La do not beat my bad garnet silk. You know sometimes you ever been like in your in. In, in your zone or the anyway at all and a garnet silk song just pop up in your head from nowhere <laughs> and you just start singing it out of the blue yeah garnet silk song them do that they just pop up and you just start praying you know or singing it out a song with Luciano too you know one artist that I think is also wicked is Mikey Spice. I think he has a wicked voice. And I recently heard a reggae artist on a, one of these um, shows in Jamaica singing something with just like him, similar but a younger dude and I was like yo who is that who this <laughs> so the music goes on and on and on and on on and on and on we go and on we go and on you know I saw reggae music wicked I recently met um, Lawgiver Log I heard of Lawgiver and link with Lawgiver and Randy Valentine. I think he's also wicked, wicked, wicked artist, reggae artist, you know? Um, Dwayne Stevens has a wicked voice. Yo, Matilda, reggae music, nice. There is no end to the goodness that reggae brings, you know? As much as a lot of people may talk a whole heap of things, over time, you will realize that if we never have some of them people, yeah, you know, controlling, if we never had some of these people controlling the system and how it works and a, a, a mess with numbers and a lower numbers and a lower sales for high sales for them own benefit, you know, and if it never spreads so far across the whole industry, when you're looking up at the whole industry, everybody. So, I, I, in all, there is no end to the goodness of reggae, you know, and we just keep moving on and on, on and on we go. I love reggae music. I love reggae. I love all of you. You hear she know, Queenie, you know, good enough. Come, come talk about this next adapts. Queen here, do good. <laughs> All the women love next adapts. All of the women, then. 
And we all love Dexter Dabs for different reasons. All of us. So anyways, I'm going to leave it right there so before I come mix me up in a day, yeah, because I just, you know. <laughs> One of the easier tall, but the panic would know. <laughs> but he's very talented though. Um, I give him that. Oh boy. May I read in the comments? But anyway, I'm about to go. Yeah, you're your queenie, but him talented, bad cho. Boy, queenie Kwan. Go. <laughs> Go. Have a good rest of your afternoon, evening, night, wherever you are. And know that I love you unconditionally, just the way you are. Big up yourself. Mwah.